back in Australia and Ireland. It literally is about 20 years to the day that this happened. And I thought, what an amazing experience to be 20 years exactly where John and Anthony are back together with an amazing orchestra to recreate the magic that was in that moment. But then I thought, no, see, he's an old John song. Right? to be the highest and fastest selling single of all time in Australia. Actually, not enough actually surpassing Elton John's Candle in the Wind remake that he did for the late Princess Diana. So, um, so, 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 so. Um, but John, you, you were there, of course, not only uh, on that incredible night, but you also produced the song. I mean, being back here, is this incredible memories for you? Look, it absolutely is. And of course, we've got probably half a dozen of the same musicians who were there in the Australian Art Orchestra on the stage tonight, which is fantastic. Um, and, and in fact, speaking of the orchestra, you know, the, the original format for Pop Idol, which came from England, was a backing track show. And, uh, well, I'm not a big fan of backing tracks, and, you know, um, Anthony writes about this in his book, some of the producers were trying to talk him out of, you know, doing the prayer. They weren't sure if that was the right choice for him. And I knew that his voice with these musicians would be incredible. And funnily enough, on that very night, uh, not a lot of people know this story, but one of the executive producers from the American Idol show was in the audience, and the following year, American Idol suddenly had a live orchestra on stage. So I think these musicians had a big yeah. part to play. Yeah. But Anthony's performance was world class back then, and uh, you know we all know what happened next. He uh, he didn't win, but still. <laughs> Uh, well, well, you'd probably hate me and call me a dickhead if you didn't do it now, so we probably should. Um, I'm going to play the role of Andrew G before Andrew G wasn't Andrew G anymore, so bear with me, but here we go. Without further ado, John Foreman and the Australian Pops Orchestra, this is Anthony Clear and the Prayer. Oh 